the floor made up in robot. In the archives of Nickelodeon, there existed an episode of SpongeBob SquarePants that was shrouded in mystery and darkness. It was a lost episode known only to a select few, hidden away from the public eye due to its disturbing and grotesque content. This forbidden episode was titled, Saturn's Maw. It was made by a now-fired employee named Lucas, who wanted to make it as part of his revenge. Legend had it that the episode started out with a title card depicting planet Saturn in the background. Just soon afterwards, the episode began with a view of the cosmos, the beautiful background of the stars in the heavens and outer space. Then, the camera moves downward to show a hyper-realistic view of planet Saturn. At first everything went normal, until then something unsettling began to play out after about 15 seconds. A yellow beam of energy began emitting out from it, piercing through the vastness of space. The camera moves to the left as we see the yellow beam being fired on its course. It appears to be targeting the Earth, where we see a hyper-realistic view of the planet we call home, about to be struck by this yellow beam of intense light. Just right before it was about to strike Earth, the screen abruptly cuts to show the outside view of the Krusty Krab, where it then cuts to SpongeBob happily flipping Krabby Pappies in his kitchen, humming out a cheerful tune. As he was flipping out Krabby Pappies, he said, Oh, what a wonderful day! The sun is shining, and everyone's so happy! Suddenly, it cuts to the outside of the Krusty Krab, where something unsettling began to happen. The atmosphere changes, and a dark shadow looms over Bikini Bottom, where we then see the strange yellow beam emanating from the distant planet Saturn descending from the sky. SpongeBob, hearing about this, decides to go outside, but when he does so, he starts to gasp at the sight of it, saying, What is that thing? Right in the middle of Bikini Bottom, as the story progresses, the yellow beam strikes the heart of Bikini Bottom, causing the buildings to twist and contort into nightmarish forms. Their once bright colors now replaced by shades of dread and dullness. The sea creatures that inhabited the town were not spared from the malevolent influence of Saturn's Maw. The sky eventually turns red, and the ground turns pitch black. The inhabitants of Bikini Bottom, including SpongeBob, Patrick, Squidward, and the others, found themselves trapped in a surreal nightmare. The once happy community descended into chaos and madness. Laughter turned into screams, and friends turned against each other as the town became a distorted and terrifying parody of its former self. I will tell you that in greater detail. The episode delved deeper into the grotesque transformations of the characters. SpongeBob's normally cheerful and absorbent persona twisted into a manic and deranged version of itself. Patrick's goofiness became a sinister madness, and Squidward's pretentious demeanor warped into a tormented soul trapped in a nightmarish reality. The scene cuts to Squidward's house, where Squidward, normally annoyed by SpongeBob's antics, is now a tormented soul. His house transforms into a surreal and twisted nightmare. Squidward now becomes angry and distorted, his eyes turned pitch black. He said, Why can't I escape this madness? Everything is falling apart! Then it cuts to Patrick's Rock, where we see Patrick also acting distorted, with pitch black eyes. Patrick said, Isn't this hilarious? Chaos is so much fun! <laughs> Patrick begins to laugh, though his laughter reverberates, and as he speaks, his voice takes on an eerie quality, echoing through the twisted corridors of his once simple abode. The furniture in Patrick's rock contorts and morphs into grotesque shapes. His beloved rock chair elongates and sprouts unsettling appendages, resembling twisted limbs. The rock bed pulsates as if it has a life of its own, creating an unsettling rhythm in tandem with Patrick's mad laughter. As the chaos begins to escalate further, Patrick said, Who needs normal when you can have this? His eyes, once filled with childlike innocence, now gleam with an unsettling intensity. The vibrant colors of his home lead into a muted and foreboding tones, casting an ominous pallor over the scene. Meanwhile, the chaos outside Patrick's rock intensifies. The distorted versions of other Bikini Bottom residents can be heard in the background, their voices warped into twisted echoes of their former selves. 
Characters began to clash, friends began to turn against each other, and the once happy town is now a battleground of insanity, with characters now going insane all over the place. As the scene continues, Squidward said, This can't be real! Make it stop! SpongeBob, attempting to maintain his usual optimism, navigates through the surreal landscape of Bikini Bottom, witnessing the unsettling transformations of his friends. With SpongeBob being desperate enough, he said, What's happening to everyone? I need to find a way to stop this! As SpongeBob ventures further into the nightmarish scene, the air becomes thick with an unspoken dread. The twisted reality of Bikini Bottom unfolds before him, leading the audience deeper into the unsettling mystery of Saturn's Maw. SpongeBob begins to walk towards the left in a cycle. As the time goes by, his eyes turned pitch black, his color palette bled into a palette of dread. SpongeBob's mouth began to open wide. Eventually, we can hear tormented screams in the background. After that, the screen then abruptly cuts to pitch black, and then a chilling silence hung in the air as a single image appeared for about five seconds, a picture of Gary, SpongeBob's beloved pet snail. However, something was horribly wrong. Gary's eyes were pitch black, devoid of any emotion or life. The screen remained black, leaving viewers in an uncomfortable and lingering suspense. Saturn's Mall was never released to the public, and its existence became an urban legend among SpongeBob fans. The reasons for its suppression were never officially disclosed, but rumors circulated about the episode being too disturbing and unsettling for the intended audience. Some even speculated that the creators feared the impact it might have on the minds of young viewers. Regardless of the reasons, Saturn's Mall remained a dark and hidden chapter in the SpongeBob SquarePants saga. The lost episode continued to dwell in the shadows, its content forever sealed away from the innocent eyes of Bikini Bottom's residents and the fans who adored them.